everybody! Welcome to episode 3 of our survival let's play! As you can see, we are back here at our spawner and today we are going to work on decorating this whole place and getting an enchanting set up. First we've got to decide on a design for these walls and I'm thinking a lot of deep slate bricks and amethyst. Just like the inside of our spawners there. We can add some spruce support pillars and strip that all down. And if we dig this out behind it, we can add some deep slate brick and I think that looks really good. I'll take you back here when we're finished and we'll see what it looks like. It's a little bit plain, I know, but it's still just a zombie spawner. This is about as fancy of a spawner as I've ever made, so I'm quite happy with it. Next thing we're going to do is going to be to place our enchanting setup. And so we have our bookshelves and we have our enchanting table. And I'm just going to... Whoops. <laughs> I'm just going to place them in whatever order kind of makes me happy at the moment. Um, Let's see. Let's try this. Try something different, right? Uh, I want this here or there maybe or I could put it here yes let's put it here and then we'll put our crafting table right there and then I'm gonna also get an anvil and a grindstone I just haven't got that for yet there all done she looks pretty I like it so while I was building this I was keeping up with my spawner and now I've made it to level 31 and that means that it's time for our first enchantment, but let's go get Lapis first. All right, I have Lapis and let's see what a pickaxe will give us. Efficiency four, efficiency one, efficiency one. Okay, Um, I really want fortune, so I think what we're gonna do, yes, we're going to keep re-rolling this until we get fortune. Oh, you know what? I also forgot, I need a grindstone. Be right back. Grindstone and anvil okay so we need to unenchant our diamond pickaxe and now see what comes up fortune two well i want fortune three so we're gonna wait let's do this again with just and rinse and repeat you know what i think that it might help us to have an extra thing to roll with so let's make some boots I have limited... Ooh, Depth Strider. I like it, but I want Feather Falling. Because I'm so limited on diamonds right now, I definitely don't want to make full armor yet. I'm going to get Fortune on my pickaxe and then hopefully go for more. When I went mining, I had terrible, terrible luck. I mined for almost two hours and I found only 12 diamonds. That's pretty bad. Alrighty, well, I will bring you back when I get either fortune or feather falling because this seems like it's gonna take a while Hey, that didn't take long at all did it fortune three, but we only have 21 levels as you can see down there So we'll farm up the levels and then I'll bring you back when we're ready and There it is. All right with efficiency. That's good. I definitely want it on breaking Also efficiency Sharpness three not terrible. I'd rather have sharpness four. I'm breaking three. No. I'd really like to get a good enchantment on my boots at least. Maybe even my sword before I leave here today, but I'm not sure. I'm kind of running low on time to film this, so we'll see. 
All right, I think we're gonna leave it there for now and come back later when we have more diamonds because now we have our fortune three pickaxe, which I'm gonna combine with this unbreaking three one. I have sharpness four sword and I have these boots, which aren't fantastic, but it's just taking up so many levels and this spawner is just not that fast. So we're gonna leave it there for now. And I think we're gonna go mining with our fortune pickaxe. But first we are going to combine these pickaxes. All right, that's a pretty good pickaxe. I can live with that just fine. Okay, let's get some diamonds. Whoa! Oh, that was near death. Jeez. <laughs> and I think we'll start right here. Oh yeah, that efficiency is so much better than iron tools. Okay, I've been mining for about two hours now, and this is what I have. Honestly, not that impressive. I think that I've just had really bad luck with the diamonds because I only got 63. That's not even quite a full stack. I've got some iron because I did go up to the higher levels in mine for some iron and coal. Uh, just because I was running low. The coal is not here with me right now though. And then I've got lapis and quite a bit of redstone and some gold. So not too bad. Um, while I was mining for iron, I also got some copper and I found a, another mine shaft, which I did not really explore very much, but I did find one mine chest. And that had some glowberries and a name tag and I grabbed some rails and some melon seeds, which I think I already have some of those upstairs though. But overall, not too bad. I'm gonna take this all back and then We'll put it all away, smelt up what we need to smelt. Put in our iron, and... Oh, that has sand. Let's do gold in here. So there's a couple things that I would like to take care of before we finish this video. And the main thing is we want to build a barn, and we're going to do it over there where we have all of our cows and our sheep. And the next thing, I want to make a house for our cute little kitty here. Why are you in the carrots, kitty? Get out. There you go, okay. So, I think we're gonna put that right here because I wanna make a path going through here that's leading to our ne nether portal, which we'll redecorate uh, <laughs> maybe next episode. I don't know when I'll get to it. It's not a priority. But let's build our kitty house right about here. Okay, so I'm thinking the path goes up through here, right? Kinda squishes close to here. I'm gonna have to move that water source, I'm sure, but goes up through here onto the nether portal. And then our cat will live right here. I don't really have a plan for what, what this is going to look like. So I'm just going to start and see what happens. Can we maybe make it look... Here, let's put this back. Look like a little tent kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, here. Let's do this. I'll put a stair here and a stair here. And then they meet in the middle and it looks like... Eh, it just looks like a house, not a tent. But I don't hate it. What happens if we strip these? I honestly liked it darker, but that's okay. We'll, we'll leave it for now. Okay, looking at it now, I don't like this on top. I think we're going to do a slab. Like this. Yes. I think that looks good. And then... I think these trap doors will look lovely. And I think we should fill in this poor cat's walls. Yes, yes, yes. Strip everything down. So satisfying. Who doesn't love the sound of when you strip them? I'm not loving that though. I don't know, we'll leave it for now and see. Maybe to make it match the other side, we do this. Yes, probably should put one there too. I don't know. But maybe nobody's gonna see this backside. It's kind of plain, so maybe it's fine. Okay, we're gonna leave this for now because I don't have a better idea. But here, come here, kitty. Thank you. Perfect. You get to live here now. Oh, it's so cute. We'll get some greenery. Some of these lovely lilacs here and here. Aww. And a couple of these tulips could look cute. I think that that's good for now. 
our kitty is going to have a lovely time in their new home, hopefully scaring away creepers. And we need a name for our cat. Now, I've seen some suggestions already, but I would really love to see what y'all think. So we're going to leave it one more episode, and I'll name her next time, based off of your suggestions. Alrighty, and the next thing that we're going to do is to build a stairway down leading to our docks, because we're going to have to go back and forth to our spawner quite frequently, and I need a better way up and down than this. I don't really have a plan for what I want this to look like, so we're just going to wing it and see what shape we come up with. Alright, so this is what I have. I like it. It's simple. Whoops. <laughs> it's simple, but it accomplishes what I need. I do need to put stairs behind those to fill it and make it look better. But overall, I'm happy. Um, It's not totally finished. I'm not sure what I really want to do with this lower area. And I'm not sure if I want to strip these pillows or not. So I'm just going to leave it and see how I feel about it the more I look at it. And we'll go from there. And now it's time to build our barn. Uh, but the problem is, is all these trees are in the way. It's going to be around about here, but I don't want the trees blocking the view. So we're going to have to clear all of these up. And that is quite the task. So I think what I want to do is make a enchanted axe um, and hopefully get efficiency and unbreaking on that. That would be ideal because that'll make her job a lot easier than chopping them with a <laughs> insane amount of iron axes. We'll have to replant our tree form somewhere else. I'm not even sure where I want to put it. We'll see. Also, um, I thought tinted glass was supposed to block light so you could see in without losing spawns. But this looks an awful lot like light. Now, is that just an illusion? Like they light it up so you can see inside, but technically it's still a light level zero? Or is there light getting through? I don't know. Is there a torch? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I can't believe... I feel so stupid. There's literally a torch. Get away. Well, that might help my spawn rates. Jeez. All right, efficiency four. Please get them breaking. Oh, um, fortune two. That's kind of useless, but also it's not gonna hurt anything. All right, I'll take it, I'll take it. And now it's time to chop down all of these trees. Well, now that this area is properly deforested, um, I think we can start building our barn. What I want to do is flatten all of this out right here and put the barn probably right here, tucked a little closer to these hills here. But yeah, I'm going to put it right here. So we'll take this dirt out, fill in any of the holes. But I think <laughs> with, with the amount of dirt that we need to move, that definitely, definitely warrants... A new shovel so let's go see if we can enchant a good shovel and then silk touch came up so of course i have to put that on a pick really with nothing else <laughs> that's uh, that's really lame efficiency two we're just gonna go with that for now because i really don't have any more time to spend down here and i need to get ice for this spawner because it is so slow because they're getting caught up in the corners because i don't have ice keeping them along so we're just gonna leave it there for now and go back up but now it's time to start building our barn so the first thing we gotta do is to clear all this land alrighty so now it's all cleared out and I'm going to take you through the planning process with me and then we'll launch into a time lapse so I think I want the entrance right here Okay, we'll start about here and then count out nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then this. And then we'll go out from here and we'll go there. And line this one up right here, right? Yes, perfect. Okay. And then I want... This is the main building, right? So I, then I want two side sort of lean-tos coming off. And those will be, I'll have one on one side for the cows and the other side for the sheep. So, let's see. I will come off here and come out maybe another five. Two, three, four, five. Yes. Yes, I like this. Same thing on this side. 
and on this side. All right, so that's kind of the floor plan, so to speak. And from here, we will go up one, two, three, four, five. Same thing on this side. That looks good. Also, I wanted to mix in some of these oak logs right here and here and then strip these down and that'll make it match our house and I think that's gonna look really good and then I was thinking probably do something like this along the bottom whoops this side's supposed to be inset and this will hopefully act as sort of a contrast like a foundation um because I'll do spruce planks on top of this and then we're not going to inset it on the sides here Okay, and now that's laid in, the outside lean-tos aren't going to have the same foundation. And next, we're going to fill in these walls with spruce planks, at least partially, because then we can go in and do the roof line here, like so. <laughs> and then, this is going to be a barn-shaped roof. So we're going to go upwards faster than we are going to go inwards. So up three, we'll do this twice, so I'm going to go up once up twice and then this should be the middle and then we can repeat the same thing on the other side and then we close this gap with slabs in the middle three wide all right so this is our roof outline which we are doing in dark oak as you can see then i'm going to be doing the inside with mangrove and that way it'll match our house i don't think i'm going to do the acacia wood uh just to mix it up a little bit give it something different there, so that's kind of the general shape. I'll poke a window in up there, and then I have this like funky design planned in mangrove wood to go across the front here. And I think we're going to time lapse. <laughs> cute it is I just love it so I worked on my path leading up to the barn here and it's so adorable I have two trees that I planted and they grew up more or less in the right spot so I left them we've got all these rocks and leaves and bamboo which I did place string on by the way so these are their final heights they're not going to get insanely tall we've got coarse dirt and some tough and a little bit of cobble here and there looking like stones and this is our barn I love it I just love it it turned out so well and you can see in here we're gonna fill this with horses and some pigs next time but right now we've got our cows and we have our sheep <laughs> with one cow he's adopted I just love how it turned out I think it's so adorable and it fits the vibe that we're going for so well and folks I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode thank you so much for coming along with me I am so excited for what we're doing in this area. I think it's turning out so cute. And I hope you guys are excited to come along with me and see what happens. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please leave a comment. I love reading everyone's feedback and their questions and their comments. It's so much fun and it makes my day. And looking forward to next episode. We'll catch you later. Bye.